Hello, this is Ruby, and today we're going to talk about the real limits of numbers. When we're talking about real limits of numbers, what we're talking about are we're talking about the intervals between adjacent numbers. So what you would see in a number line as drawn here with 7, 8, and 9. So what we're talking about is the value, as you will recall, between 7 and 8 is equal to 1, and the value between 8 and 9 is also equal to 1. The important thing to remember here is that you have two real limits for every number. So every number that we look at is going to have two real limits. It's going to have a lower real limit and it's also going to have an upper real limit. So if we were to look at 7, what we would find is that 6.5 would be the lower real limit for this number. And 7.5 would be the upper real limit for this number. So really, 7 is represented by the distance between 6.5 and 7.5. And you'll notice that if you subtract 7.5 minus 6.5, you get an interval of 1. The other thing that you'll notice is to calculate the lower real limit of this number, and let's go ahead and do that in a different color, we would calculate it by taking 7 minus 0.5, and that would give us 6.5. To get the upper real limit, we would take 7 plus 0.5, and that would give us 7.5. So now we have the upper and lower real limits. Now, there's another case that we need to talk about, and that's the case where we have an interval. So we might in the table have an interval that says that there are intervals between 50 and 50, 50 to 54. And we might be asked, what is the size of that interval? So if we think about that, and we have 54 to 50, your natural reaction might be just to subtract this and come to 4 that answer would be the wrong answer. And the reason that that is the wrong answer, that's interesting, not sure why it did that, but we'll go ahead and correct it. So that answer would be the wrong answer, maybe because it was the wrong answer. So 54 minus 50, that equals 4, would be our wrong answer. And that's the wrong answer because it didn't take into account the upper and lower real limits. So instead, what you would need to think about is you would need to think about that you have 54, and because it's the upper limit of that interval, you would need to add a 0.5. So that would mean it's 54.5. Then you would need to think about that lower limit was 50, and because it's the lower limit, you would need to subtract a 0.5, which would equal 49.5. So then to figure out the size of the interval, what you would need to do is take 54.5 minus 49.5, which would equal 5. And that would be the correct answer. So the correct answer would be 5. Another way to figure this out, which some students will do, so it's an or, not an and, you wouldn't do it both ways, is that you could take 54 minus 50 and you could get 4. Then you could add 1 and that 1 wouldn't take into account the 0.5 that's coming from the lower real limit and the 0.5 that's coming from the upper real limit and you would get 5. So then you would have the correct answer. All right, so that's how you need to think about the upper and lower real limits. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.